This biodome population data graph is useful for us when we are considering why the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of the biodome decreased over time, because all of these abiotic, all of these living components, decomposers, producers, consumers, all these living components of our biodome ecosystem all undergo the process of cellular respiration within their cells, and therefore they are all responsible for uh, releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So this idea is a pretty important one, um, and I want you to go ahead and pause the video and record this key concept on your paper. So as organisms release energy during cellular respiration, carbon dioxide is produced from the carbon in energy storage molecules. And when I think about this term, energy storage molecules, it should make sense that the energy storage molecules release energy um, when they are broken down through this process of cellular respiration through that chemical reaction. Um, but as a result, I also get that output of carbon dioxide. And this process moves carbon from a biotic state in energy storage molecules to an abiotic state of matter within the carbon dioxide in the air. So remember our overall mission in the unit is to help our econauts build a better biodome. Um, and so to do that, we need to help them understand why this biodome ecosystem collapsed. And this reduction, um, this decrease, and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is really important for them to understand because it's that uh, reduction, that decrease in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that caused our producers to not efficiently be able to conduct photosynthesis and therefore they did not produce enough energy storage molecules for the ecosystem as a whole. So our biodome um, needs to not have this reduction in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere um, if we want to make it work. Based off of the data that Dr. Corey sent us and that we looked at earlier, we noticed that the decomposer population was decreasing over time and the producers and the consumers were staying the same. So it's reasonable to claim here um, that the decrease in decomposers is what led to this decrease in carbon dioxide in the air. However, we wouldn't be very good scientists if we weren't checking uh, for evidence for our claims. Um, so we're not just going to conclude that that's the reason right now. We're going to double check by testing this claim um, about decomposers in the sim. And when you are ready, if you have access to the sim, you will pause the video and you will complete this sim mission to test the claim and make sure that you're recording your observations and that you're able to explain how those observations are evidence for or against the claim. If you don't have access to Amplify Online, um, you can join me right now as I test this claim in my sim. Okay, so I have my sim open here. Remember, I can get to this um, if I'm following along. Lesson 2.3, I'm now in activity three here. I can find the link or I can use that shortcut. Um, so I'm just gonna hit play to start. Um, and I'm not gonna change anything yet because again, I wanna compare uh, my data for carbon dioxide and cellular respiration um, over time for when I had decomposers, because the biodome had some to start, but then um, the population decreased um, over time. So I'm gonna model that, I'm gonna mimic that here in my sim setup, so I haven't changed anything yet. I'm gonna go ahead and just speed it up, um, just to give it, um, you know, I'm impatient, just to give it a little bit more time. And then I'm gonna start to kill off um, these decomposers. And now I have my sim going so fast, so I'm gonna pause it and then get all of these decomposers out of there. Gotta press that button over and over again here until they all disappear. Almost there, there we go. And I'm gonna play again. 
And I'm gonna go down to my graph, okay? And my graph's showing a lot of things. Again, there's where I was pressing that kill button. And I'm gonna turn off everything except carbon dioxide and cellular respiration. There you go. So if I go back um, to the very beginning before I killed anything, okay, I can see what my CO2 and what my cellular respiration levels and rates were. And then I started to press that kill button um, and kill off those decomposers. And I can observe a trend over time. And I'm gonna to continue to let this go for a few moments longer just to make sure that trend um, is happening and that nothing else changes. So I'm noticing a trend right now. Are you noticing one? Hopefully like me, you are seeing that when I compare where my cellular respiration rate is right now and I compare how many CO2 molecules we have in the atmosphere right now after our decomposers died off, way back to what it was before I killed off any of those decomposers, that the previous rate was higher than what it is now. So that means over time, my CO2 rate has decreased as the population of decomposers over time also decreased. Um, so that reduction there is some evidence that supports my claim. Because again, I saw a decrease in decomposers and I also saw a decrease in carbon dioxide. And I did not have that decrease in carbon dioxide before I started killing off the decomposers.